Hello reformers and welcome back to Gegakujo 3.1 with the Sugoroku submod. Now, when we left off, we had participated in a little bit of a Wily e. Coyote mission and finally had completed it, taking out those terrible, terrible bandits or Kinai rebels more specifically, and we were able to, you know, return to the town and gain some much needed relation with it, as well as a thousand mod, which is always going to come in handy for an enterprise of some sort, and we have now returned to Great Lord Miyoshi. And now, of course, Great Lord Miyoshi, he is, he's actually liking us quite a bit, and we are technically the max rank that we can be with the freelancing, so what we're going to do is we're going to request that he release us from service. And what's amazing about this is that, as you can see here, we can now keep our equipment, which is amazing. So I'm very much happy with that. Also, I actually don't know. Do we have the same amount of relation with the Miyoshi faction that we did beforehand? I hope so. If not, then, well, that's just how it is, because I just saw a lot of things revert back to zero there, so I'm actually unsure. But yeah, anyway, let us leave. And what we're going to do is participate in the tournament. Now, I know that, you know, tournaments are maybe not the most popular thing to do, so if you don't like tournaments, then maybe it's a good idea to skip this episode. I'm probably going to be doing this and maybe going to the other town, seeing if there's other tournaments there too, and making this kind of into a tournament episode, because I need to get five relation to be able to buy a enterprise, and I'd really, really, really love to do that because as long as I have an enterprise up and running, I should have a constant stream of money, and then I can start to level up my army once again, and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to create our own faction sooner rather than later. Because obviously there, there are a number of factions on the map that are going to be easier to take out earlier in the game than they are later in the game. But obviously, I think I'm at day 70 right now, so... You know, that could change. But anyway, let's go and fight. Oh no, I have a two-handed weapon. I'm not very good with two-handed weapons. I, I tend to think that I'm not very good with them, but... Oh well, never mind, let's just... Uh, oh, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just... Let's just get killed. Let's just get killed. That's, that's what we'll do, apparently. Alright, two teams with four fighters each. Do bear in mind that... Oh my, there's an elite Onobushi on the enemy side. That is not very good. Do bear in mind that the combat speed is on faster, so obviously I'm not particularly used to that. Actually, I usually play on normal, so this is gonna be, uh, yeah. oh, 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 okay, there we go. <laughs> she actually allowed us to win, and that is very nice. That is very nice of her. Okay, so let us continue. A one versus one? A one versus one right now. I'm actually really scared about this now. Okay, so who am I against? Um, against this guy. Okay, so let's hope that he doesn't have anything amazing. Okay, let's see. Is he is he any good? Is he any good? No, it doesn't seem like he's any good. Oh, okay, never mind. He was actually a named unit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, two, oh, it's another one versus one. I'm actually a bit... Oh, no. Uh, look at this. What do I have here? What is this? Is this a pole arm or something? No, it's not a pole arm. It's a two-handed weapon. Okay. It does a lot of damage. Hayachi! Hayachi! Okay, well, Tekken 2. Tekken 2? Oh, yeah. Well, Tekken in general, but anyway. Another one versus one. Okay, so apparently the tournaments go into kind of a sort of single, single combat tournament as time goes on. So two teams with one fighter once again. I have a bow. Well, this is going to be relatively easy, isn't it? Well, it should be. Yeah. Very easy. Oh, there's Lord Hatakiyama. We know him. We know him because the person in general that told us about his brother being kidnapped, that is, you know, the guy that was going up against Lord Hatakiyama in the story at the very least. So there you go. This is the final round. I have a bow. Oh, this is... Yeah, okay, I won. <laughs> Aren't you amazed? I am amazed. I am absolutely amazed. Okay, so there you go, 4,000, and we've improved our relation by one. Oh, really? Only by one? Okay, well, I know a quick fix for this. I'm also going to be twa uh, t twaking? No. Twaking? No, I'm not going to be twaking Mari. I'm going to be taking Mari, and... 
<laughs> we're going to hopefully be able to afford her. So let's see. How much are you? You are a hundred? Really? You're that cheap? Okay. Well, oh, well, no offense. No offense. Didn't mean to say you're that cheap. Okay. So let's see. Mm, y yes. Y yes. There we go. Okay. So the relation with Kyoto has improved. I have 11,860 mon. So now I have five. So in theory, I should be able to buy an enterprise. There we go. Okay. Phew. I was really worried about that actually. Okay. So Shall we take a look and see? Weavery and Dye Works, minus 123, and it is 16,000 mon, so I won't even be able to do that, but it's pointless because it's minus in the you know economy sense. Okay, so Brewery gives me a little bit. A Lacquer Works gives me 250. Wow, the enterprises are really quite bad. Ah, okay, so... It will produce soy sauce. Soy sauce brewery will give us 348. What about a fish sauce? Ooh, look at that. 774. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Okay, apparently I'm going to be going for fish sauce. It seems like that's going to be the case. Weavery, no. Just got to make sure that this is all right, obviously. Okay, no, 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 that's that's minus 290. Okay, well, it seems like we're going to be making fish sauce. Well, that's hilarious. It's 4,500 as well, which is actually one of the cheaper options. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so we're going to be recruiting a couple of samurai as well. And we now have, oh, we still have 6,000. That's really nice. Okay, so as you can see, we have our army back again. And it's pretty nice, I, I got to say. I think it's... It's going to turn out pretty nicely. Obviously, we do need to get some more renown. Should we take these guys on? Yeah, let's take these guys on because they obviously have a couple of prisoners that would be nice to sort of flesh out our army a little bit, and then we can move on to the next town. But yeah, I'm actually really happy that we have a horse now, and I don't even know why I got stopped there, but apparently I did for some unknown reason, but never mind. All right, so who's our cavalry unit, by the way? I didn't even think we had cavalry. Who's that? Mounted Amoco Retainer. All right. Okay. Didn't even know we had one of those, but apparently we do. Okay. So now let's do some damage. Oh yeah. I've got to be a little bit careful here. So I'm probably going to just, you know, move around a little bit. I'm going to tell everyone to charge in. I'm going to try and get my cavalry unit to come from behind. Maybe that's going to make a difference, but obviously do bear in mind my horse archery is absolutely terrible. So I wouldn't be surprised if I get a headshot. <laughs> no, I'm actually really surprised that I gained any kind of headshot there at all. That was complete luck. And anyone that tells you otherwise is lying. Yes, <laughs> absolutely lying. Okay, so come on now. Yes, C can I? Can I? Can I please? Can I please kill this? I would like to kill this if possible. I am awful. I am absolutely awful at horse archery. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I suppose it's actually kind of fine because obviously they don't have shields so I don't have to run around for I don't know 15 minutes trying to kill them but anyway we've now gotten some hired guards some peasant women and some trained Miyoshi skirmishers which is always nice now I have no idea what what is best do I go for Yojimbo or do I go for hired gunners uh, I think I'll go for Yojimbo because they might go... Yeah, Yojimbo is actually a lot better because Hired Gunners just go into Hired Gunners and that's it. So, yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. So, we obviously have some really, really good armor now. So, I don't really need to sort of watch out for that. But it would be nice to get Mari equipped with some really nice stuff. So, yeah. We're just going to give her some better boots there and we can give her a lame dosanko horse but i don't really want to do that okay so mari actually does have wound treatment which is going to make a huge difference to us because as we know i am extremely impatient and waiting at a town for me to regenerate my hp that's really annoying so it's nice that there's actually someone here that has wound treatment so let's go to nara and i think we're going to recruit some more samurai why not and let's go into the inn see if we can find some more of uh, there's a ninja that might actually be kind of nice yeah i oh, i could sell the prisoners here 416 that's actually pretty decent all right and a ninja yeah why not let's get some ninjas why not i think that's going to be pretty nice 
and I would like to find another companion if possible, because the earlier you get them, the easier it is, of course. So, shall I meet with the Guildmaster and maybe do a task for him? Because the next place we want to get an Enterprise is in Nara, so that might be an idea. Anyway, do you have a special job? Take his cattle to the market at Kofu. Alright, let's do it. Oh no, I am kind of worried now. Okay, so where is where is Kofu? Oh my, uh, if it's really far away, I'm going to be regretting this very, very quickly. Alright, so I, it seems like I'm going to have to take a look and see where Kofu is, because I can't find it myself. How incompetent. Oh, well, never mind. It's actually okay, because it is a very large map. Ah, oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, okay, so that's actually not even that bad. It is not that bad, so let's see. Do these cattle follow me? Yes, they do. Alright, okay, so it seems like this tournament episode has turned into a cattle driving episode, which I <laughs> I don't really like cattle driving. I don't know where, you know how many of you have been here since the beginning with Barney Beartild, King Barney Beartild, all the way back in the original native series that I did, you know, 202 episodes, I think. Yeah, 202 episodes of that series. Actually pretty insane. I, I didn't even think that it was that much at the time, but it is actually a lot. And yeah, let, let me just say that me doing native and not having the ability to change the fact that the cattle's behavior is, you know, pushing them, you know, pushing them, that was absolutely hell it was awful absolutely awful so yeah i had to i basically spent i don't even know how much time off screen i think probably 20 25 minutes trying to drive these cattle to towards this area and it was <laughs> it was not good suffice it to say it was not good not fun not cool not anything good and eventually i think i did actually get there eventually because i was determined to do it but I then swore to myself, oh, never again, never again, I'm never going to do one of those cattle missions ever. So, yeah, it was, yeah, it was not very good. I think I, 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 where was it now? I think I was, was I down in the Saranid territory or something along those lines? And I was, I was just thinking to myself, okay, so what can I do on the way back? Because I think I traveled down there to rescue a kidnapped girl or something along those lines. And I think... Mm, yeah, and I think I was just like, okay, so there's going to be a huge amount of travel time for me to go back, so what can I do? So I thought, okay, we're going to do that. And Monk Rebels? Monk, should, I, should I attack those Monk Rebels? I don't even know how good the Monk Rebels are. I don't really want to attack a, a party that is going to absolutely destroy us, so it might not be the best idea, but yeah. Oh yes, also, what I would like to do is I would love to be able to take this. So that's the reason why I'm actually trying to sort of build up our army right now because if we're able to build up our army and actually take that we're going to have our own little sort of slice of the pie I suppose you could say because we have a place to put our units and that place actually recruits units apparently and oh no oh no oh no okay this is not good okay I'm going to investigate because I am curious but also yeah that that place me, me Dera, I don't even know how to say it, but me Dera, whatever, is probably going to be our first, you know, full on siege kind of thing. And they don't even have that good of units. I've actually taken a look before. I think they have some pretty decent units, but not great. So hopefully we'll be able to do it. Anyway, let's investigate. A Ronin protector resting with some Izo warriors. Oh, uh, we were looking for you. So be it. To die is as light as a feather. Hmm. All right. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so who do we have here? We have Yojimbo and Mari with us. Oh, no. Okay, there's a headshot. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this, if I'm lucky. Yeah, there we go. That's what you get, Ronin. Uh, yeah. And then I got killed by these. <laughs> oh... Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Well, they uh, before the uh, yeah, so rustling in the bushes. How did you let that happen? Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, apparently, you can get some really, really good stuff 
like items, unique items from those encounters. So yeah, it would probably be really nice for me to be able to do that, but I probably have to be a little bit more cautious because it's been a while since I've had this terrible a helm because the helm actually that I'm wearing is only 10 to head armor and that enables any overhead attack, which is what that guy was able to do. He actually aimed his thrusting attack at my head, which is the reason why I did so much damage. But yeah, I'm probably going to try to get a better helm as soon as possible because if I don't do that, then well, things are going to go pretty badly for me in the future. And if I'm up against an archer, for example, and they're able to get a headshot, I'll probably die instantly anyway. So yeah, that's not really very good, is it? So let's see, am I able to actually find any bandits along the road here? I mean, I'd like to do another bandit fight if possible. And none of my people have leveled up. I'm actually really surprised that these samurai have not leveled up yet. I might try to get a couple of gunners, but the Hatamoto guards are obviously going to be the first thing that we should do, because obviously the gunners are very slow when it comes to reload and all that. So probably not the best idea to concentrate them so much early on. Okay, so I'm just going to wait on this bridge here, see if we can maybe lure in some rebels or something. No, there's a Lord Baba, Lord Baba. Okay, yeah, so that is it. Can I, can he, yep, there we go. Fantastic. All right, so now where do I have to go? All right, okay, going to have to go back to Nara. Okay, so as I was just resting at Nara after, you know, coming back, we have encountered another one of these Ronin heroes, and I'm actually a bit worried about this. So, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is all a misunderstanding, but I can see that it is too late to explain. All right, so, yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be pretty harsh. Now, oh, yeah, by the way, I did find two more companions, which is actually really nice, because the companions, in my opinion, that we found are Mei Ling and Kaguya, apparently. Yes, apparently Kaguya was renamed, which is... Obviously, quite nice to know, and maybe I'm able to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now this is probably going to be pretty bad. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, is, is it going to be bad? I don't know. I don't know whether it's going to be too bad. I think we'll be okay. Are we? Are we going to be fine? Yeah, there we go. That's what you get. And now, you are going to get the, the bow treatment. Yeah, you're going to get the bow treatment. That's what you get. Oh, yes. Okay, 105. That's really nice. Okay, we got a Masamune Nagamaki and a 229 Mon. Oh, that's actually really nice. That was pointless, <laughs> oh, but I gained some renown. I gained some renown for that. Okay, so let's speak to the guild master here. And there you go. We've gained some renown. We've improved our relation and gained some Mon as well. It seems like the quests in Gekakuja are a lot more impactful than other mods for the most part. I mean, there are obviously those rare exceptions where the quests are actually really good. So yeah, probably a good idea to do that. As you can see, we've improved our relation with Nara by three already. And if I wanted to, I could probably head into the... Well, that's actually, uh, that's a pretty reasonable weapon. Anyway, yeah, I could probably head into the tavern and spend another thousand or so, but probably not going to do that right now. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.